1994, Christy Brazancala accused that Morrison and Crawford raped her. In 1995, Brazancala filed a complaint against Morrison under the Virginia Tech sexual assault policy. Morrison was found guilty and was suspended for two semesters. Crawford wasn't charged. Another hearing also found Morrison guilty. The university's appeal, Morrison's punishment, was overlooked. This was because the court found it excessive. Brazancala dropped out of Virginia Tech. Brazancala sued all Morrison, Crawford, and Virginia Tech under the Violence Against Women's Act of 1994. Congress lacked authority to enact this uh, section, which was brought up. Finally, the Court of Appeals affirmed. We will now hear the argument between the U.S. and Antonio Morrison versus Christy Brazancala and Christy Brazancala versus Antonio Morrison. Mr. Chief Justice, Congress enacted the Violence Against Women Act to remove gender discrimination and violence from the workplace. This was created because Congress heard so many stories from women whose partners injured them and kept them from their daily lifestyles. Now Mrs. Goldshield, do all of these cases apply to just violence from discrimination of gender and its effect on interstate commerce? Because all crime affects interstate commerce, we can't control it all. No, Your Honor, not necessarily. However, Congress could enact the Supremacy Clause in order to help control this issue over the state lines. Would that not be harder than just having Congress work with the legislative there? And, and wouldn't it be unconstitutional to try to control discrimination when it exists in so many forms? U.S. Defense Waxman, your statement? Your Honor, the court must see that Congress had rational basis to conclude that controlling all things is not what we require. We only wish to control violence, especially gender discrimination, especially over state lines, because this will boost commerce and equal morality. If we are talking stereotypical gender-based violence, is it going to do any better in a federal jury than a state jury if they pull people from the same pool? Mr. Chief Justice, federal courts are much more <coughs> equipped to differentiate these rules than state courts. They are able to create better solutions than with these issues. We have been able to put controls over guns and drugs all over this country. Are we not able to put more control over gender-based discrimination? Now for Morrison's defense. With all due respect, the question at hand isn't whether or not they can control gender-based violence. It is whether or not they have the power given by the Constitution to overturn the decision made by the state court. The prosecution is asking the court to give Congress even more power than it already has. Tying this case into commerce is very loose tie. Section 5 says the court cannot deny the state decisions without possibly violating Section 1. The prosecution says that we are in a new regime and therefore can apply the Commerce Clause to this new legislation. What do you say to this, Mr. Roseman? This is wrong. This court says that the power of regulation pushed too far can become the power to preempt. This means that if Congress can regulate, then to an extent it can displace state law. Rosman is right. Enacting the Violence Against Women Act of 1994 is unconstitutional because it exceeds congressional power. Case closed. <laughs>Supreme Court ruled Congress didn't have the authority to overturn the local court's decision. This is due to the fact that Congress needed two powers enumerated in the Constitution, which they didn't have. This decision allowed for the states to retain the power of policing from the federal government.